So everyone, welcome to this uh, C++ language conversation with Bjarne Stustrup in New York. I'm in, uh, in Manhattan, New York City. I'm in Ashland, Oregon. And it's great to have everyone with us. Um, and we'll just get right to it, a conversation about C++. First thing I thought we'd do is, uh, is take, uh, have you give us a little update on what's happening with the C++ Standards Committee. You were just in San Diego, and then I guess looking forward to going back to Kona on the big island of Hawaii in the springtime. Okay. Um, yeah, um, just back from San Diego. I've been back maybe 10 days. And in another two and a half months, I'll be in Kona, standards meetings. And so, as somebody said, uh, crossing the ocean to spend a week of 12 hour working days is insanity. Um, he's lucky. I don't get 12 hour working days. Uh, it's, it's not that easy. Um, and we seem to be making progress. Um, if things work out as planned, uh, C20 will be great. It'll be uh, as much better than what we have before as C++11 was better than 98. Um, we had progress on modules, which should give us sort of, I don't know, depending on your compiler, maybe three times or seven times faster compilation speed, um, primarily due to better code hygiene. And the uh, concepts are almost the way I wanted them to be. Um, you can do it, not as pretty, but uh, you can do most. And um, what else have we got? We got ranges, which infinite ranges. And uh, now finally I can say sort of V rather than sort of V dot begin comma V dot end. Um, it, We've taught the standard library to actually understand a range as something that has a beginning and the end. And if you give it something that has a beginning and the end, it will take it, like V for a vector. Um, there's some hiccups in the area of contracts that almost was, we, we thought it was there, but we found some problems. We'll see if we'll fix those. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get networking standardized. On the other hand, it's been shipping for a decade and it has benefited for the um, review and the standards. So I'm sad about it, but I'm not going to try too much. Um, I've probably forgotten something. There's lots of little things and a lot of those are best forgotten because then you have to remember them and learn them and such. Um, the work on compile time evaluation has finally found a, a target, it, uh, an overarching um, motif. It's not just a set of facilities anymore. It adds up to support for fairly general compile time compilation and um, building up towards support for static reflection. So this is, this, this, this is major stuff. Yep. And um, some of the things fits into my uh, hope of basically making the use of C++ simpler. That is, you can't make the language simpler because um, stability over decades is a feature. It's one of the reasons people use C++. Their old code works old as in 10, 20 years ago. And that gives people hope and reason to hope that their code from today will work in 10, 20 years. This is a feature and it's a feature that new languages have trouble getting. Uh, so they can be simpler, but by simplifying, uh, by improving the foundations of C++, we can simplify the use. It is really simpler to say sort of V than to sort of begin comma end. And um, it is simpler to write code with concepts. You get overloading, you get uh, your error handling uh, done right. than it is to write with fully generic things where you have to protect against 
somebody sending you a type that simply isn't what you had imagined. Now you can state what you expect and you can have the compiler enforce it. This is good stuff. It simplifies use. So not a simpler language, but one that you can say things more simply in and that compiles faster. Much okay. faster.